Ugh, TV is so expensive. There's basic cable, plus Netflix, plus Amazon, plus Disney, plus, plus, plus. It all adds up. So if you're thinking about cutting the cord and saving some money, here are 10 free ways that you can watch TV. Now these are not free trials. I use these, these are all completely free. Now I do wanna point out, I do live in Canada, so some of the big free services around the world like Sony Crackle and Paramount Plus are not available for poor people like me who live in the frozen tundra of Canada. So this is geared towards people like me who are trapped in the frozen north called Canada and we wanna watch free TV and movies. Let's jump in. Free TV option number one is Tubi. Tubi is completely free and they've got some actual like real movies on here like there's Joe Dirt, Ace Ventura. There's also a bunch of things here like a recommended feed. There's horror movies, lots of different horror movies. And then there's things that are just recently added. There's also stuff for kids as well. Thrillers, comedy. There's actually a lot on here. Now it is ad driven. So if you watch a movie on here, you're going to see ads. But if you can live with that, Tubi is completely free and there's actually a lot to watch. Free TV option number two is Pluto TV. Pluto TV is pretty cool. They have live TV, which makes it separate from say something like a Netflix or even a Tubi. So it's kind of neat. So I can go through like different channels. So for example, I'm just gonna go down here to crime and I'm gonna go to CSI New York and you'll see there's 24 minutes left. And I'm actually now watching like a live feed of CSI New York. Oh my goodness, that's very creepy. And then there's also other channels as well. So you can, tr you can go through like true crime. All of these things are free to watch. Now there is ads on here as well, but there's also genres on the left. So I can go to South Park, Frasier. So if you wanna watch an old episode of Cheers, for example, you just pop it open and there it is. You're watching it in real time. There's also an on-demand option. So when I go to the left-hand side, the far left, there's an on-demand channel right here and I can watch different movies and TV shows that are on demand. So you don't have to catch it like halfway through. You could watch, you know, Jersey Shore, for example, and you can watch all the different episodes. Uh, one of my favorite shows is Ridiculousness. I will watch people getting hit in the nuts all day long. And so, you know, that's for free. It's on Pluto and it's great. Free TV option number three is Plex. It's got live TV on here. So here I'm on the channel guide that shows me live TV shows. So I could watch Fear Factor, for example. I'm gonna open it up and we can see here is Fear Factor in all of its glory. These are old episodes, but hey, they're completely free. You can always spend a Saturday morning watching a lady in a bikini getting absolutely pummeled by some sort of mystery liquid, fantastic. There's also a ton of movies and TV shows. A lot of them are old, and look, a lot of them are kind of low end. There's a lot of cult movies on here, but there's also a lot of older movies, for example, It's a Wonderful Life, A Christmas Carol, there's also binge-worthy shows as well. These are series, so you could watch like seven seasons of Hunter. There's a show called Broad Church that's pretty cool. That's pretty recent too. So there's some old stuff. There's some new stuff. It's pretty great. Free TV option number four is Freebie TV. The name is a little on the nose, literally called Freebie TV. So you can go in now and you can watch live sports, live fighting, live classic TV. So for example, I'm going to go over here to Johnny Carson, play live. And just like that, Johnny Carson comes back to life. I like watching a lot of science fiction movies and a lot of horror movies. So there's lots on here. Some are old, some are cheesy, but hey, they're all free. So there's certainly a lot to look through and you can always find something to watch. Free TV option number five is CBC Gem. Now, if you've never heard of CBC before, it's Canada's government run television network. So there's a lot of CBC News on here and there's live TV. There's also episodes of comedies and dramas. I actually really like this for the documentaries on CBC. There's this really cool one called Summit 72 and it's about the Canada Soviet Summit series from 1972. It's really cool. I highly recommend the documentaries. They look fantastic. You can watch this also on an app on your iPad or on your mobile device, but I choose to typically watch this on the television. The quality of it's really high too. It looks like a regular TV show, so it's pretty cool. Free TV option number six is CTV. Again, if you've never heard of this, it's a Canadian network. CTV's been around forever, and they have a free app, CTV. I like the app, it's pretty easy to navigate. They've got sub genres in here. So for example, I'm gonna go to documentary. We can see here there's a bunch of different documentaries 
that you can watch. Some of them are great, some of them are old, some of them are cheesy, but there's a whole bunch in here. And you know, you can always find something, especially if it's for free, it's pretty cool. Free TV option number seven is Global TV. It's a very similar app to what we've seen before. At the top, there's a menu where you can watch global news, and then there's also live TV. And then you can also search, which is nice, because even if you don't know what you're searching for, it'll give you trending shows, which is kind of nice. And they actually have some big time shows on here, like Saturday Night Live, Late Show with Stephen Colbert, 60 Minutes, Survivor. So these are not just like rinky-dink shows that nobody's ever heard of. These are like number one rated shows on TV. Big Brother Canada is a good one. Property Brothers. There's a lot of really cool stuff on here. So this is just an example. The Property Brothers, you can stream the entire series for free. There's seven seasons and each season has episodes inside of it. So, you know, for free app, this is pretty cool. You can actually watch a lot of different TV whenever you want. It's all on demand. Free TV option number eight is actually not an app at all. It's a website. So online, I went to this website called publicdomainmovie.net and I can see here there's a bunch of feature films that I can scroll through and by simply clicking on one, I can start watching it. Now these are old movies. You're not gonna find anything here that's relatively recent because they're all on the public domain. There's a little menu here at the top. I'm gonna click on cartoons, for example. And when I scroll on down, I can see there's old 1930s, 1940s, 1950s cartoons. I'm gonna click on Superman, the mechanical monsters, and it simply just opens up a browser window. I simply click play, and I can start watching Superman. I can also scroll forward, which is kinda of nice as well. So if you wanna watch something for free, it's pretty straightforward, and you can really get into a lot of older movies, which are pretty cool. Free TV option number nine is also another website. It's called the Internet Archive, and the website address is archive.org. Now, this can be a bit cumbersome to look through, so I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough on it. At the very top, there's an option here for web, books, video, audio. I'm going to go here to video, and then underneath this, I can look at featured video, but also top, and I'd recommend you start here at the top. Animation and cartoon, art and music. There's different movies, there's different films. I'm gonna click on movies. And then here's just a bunch of movies. Now they've got different subject headings. So for example, there's comedy films, there's 291 items in the comedy films. There's feature films, 16,000. There's short films, 3,200. Film noir, 1,000 items. So I'm gonna go in here to colorized movies, for example. And then I can see there's a bunch of old like westerns and science fiction and stuff like that. So here I'm gonna click on Spaceways 1953. This is colorized. And now I can just simply click on play. So that's pretty cool. For free, within a couple seconds, I'm now watching an old movie, you know, from the 1950s or the 1960s. And there's just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these different movies on here. So you can spend some time looking through and find something that you really like. Free TV option number 10 is YouTube itself. They actually have movies on YouTube and they are free. Now I'm not talking about pirated movies or illegal content. I'm talking about legitimate movie. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link in the video description. Here's the link. It's youtube.com slash feed slash storefront. And now you can purchase movies. So there's movies up here at the top. If I click on purchase, it'll show me anything that I've bought. But I can also look through free primetime movies that are free with ads. And you'll see down at the bottom, it says free with ads. So I will say for a free option on YouTube, there is actually quite a few movies on here. When I scroll through, you're going to see there's just at least a couple hundred movies here that you can scroll through. And a lot of them are relatively recent. They've got decent thumbnails. These are not like super old movies that nobody's ever heard of before. There's a lot of legit movies. And again, you wanna look for this free with ads down at the bottom. And you know, yes, there'll be ads during the movie, but if you can live with that, you know, you can't really beat free. It's pretty cool. I really hope you found this helpful. And hey, speaking of YouTube, I have a couple channels as well. Make sure to check out Zen Water Cooler and also Crafty Stacks for more free YouTube goodness. Thanks for watching. Here's another video on how you can have some fun for free.